Generating more electricity from the photons harvested is critical. It is the optimum way to drive down energy cost and be able to reach renewable portfolio standards. Concentrator Photovoltaic Technology, CPV, by its very design, is focused on achieving this goal. It does this through higher efficiency, reliable performance, and scalability. No longer a lab experiment, CPV is being deployed globally today. And by the end of 2012, we would expect CPV deployments to be approaching half a gigawatt. We recently met with industry technologists and experts and asked them about CPV commercialization. Why is CPV technology ready for commercial deployment? It is commercially ready. Uh, Large-scale deployment is possible because uh, the major cornerstones are solved. It's uh, reliability and field experience, the production capacity and also the cost competitiveness of uh, CPV is possible and we have shown as Concentric Solar that we can do it. Over the last few years uh, a number of companies have invested a lot of money in building the, the, the plants that go to uh, building the panels and they've succeeded. Uh, Sol Focus is amongst them. We, we have a plant that can build a panel every three minutes and we've shown that it's very possible. The plant's been running for about a year now. We have um, significant installations now out there from this manufacturing plant that proves that we're commercially ready. Tell us about the PV cells used in CPV systems. We think that the silicon solar cells are not definitely the material suitable for this kind of application. At the moment, we are using triple junction solar cells based on three five materials with efficiency higher than 38%. When we start this uh, development uh, in 2001, the available technology were the single junction gallium arsenide solar cells with efficiency below 28%. That means that in the last 10 years, the increment, the technology development at efficiency at the solar cell level has been incredible and we are taking benefit of that. When we started the company, there were three companies building high performance cells, three, five cells, and they were targeted on the orbital market, the space market. Now, five years later, there are 25 young companies and some of them are actually established companies with new divisions and fabrication costs are going to go down as these cells are put on high volume lines that are normally being used for you know, light emitting diodes or, or, or the photonics industry. Um, and so I expect efficiencies to rise and I expect costs to drop. Well, for CPV, we will use the highest efficient solar cells. And uh, I think in the next 10 years, this will be three, five multi-trunction solar cells. Uh, and when the other technologies are available, we can easily implement this in our CPV modules. 250X, 500X, 1000X. Is higher better? So uh, higher concentration is not necessarily uh, the way to go. It depends on the cost share of the cell in the total CPV system. And uh, depending on this cost share, concentrations in the range of 500 to 1000 uh, are possible. And uh, what the direction will be depends on the cost uh, roadmap of the cells. This is a systems approach, it's not a concentration. When you make a system, you know, take every element in there and you throw it all together and figure out how you make an optimum system that fits a particular application. And that's how you approach it. Everybody feels comfortable in that 500 to 700 range. Some people gone over that, but at the cost because they have to use much bigger heat sinks, they have to do uh, this and that, so you have to use uh, more expensive secondaries. So all this, you, you pencil them out and you figure out where you stand with all this and you go from there. There's going to be a trend to go higher in concentration. Uh, I quite frankly don't believe it's going to go much above 1500 suns. I expect then over time for concentration to drop again as cells, the, the high performance cells, really start hitting high volume and their costs come down. What is the future of CPV technology? In the past, uh, the, there was the transition from the laboratory really to industrial scale. 
in the last five years uh, CPV companies started and really uh, built up their production capacity so it's just the market introduction of this technology because CPV technology is the most cost competitive uh, technology in the sunbelt areas of this world. Uh, CPV has a very low temperature coefficient so it's ideally suited for hot climates with a very high solar irradiation where it's best to produce solar electricity. To start with with a concentration in our case of something like 650 to 1 we have a very small area of actual cell material in each of our panels and uh, the, the major, the major uh, cell supplier in the world right now um, actually has a fairly moderately sized fabrication line. Um, smaller than what you'd see at most, uh, just about every commercial sized foundry in the world. Given that these cells are headed towards those big foundries, I don't see a problem with su cell supply at all in the future. Efficiency is really the key to everything because with efficiency you levelize all the cost of uh, the whole system and if we look at uh, the limiting cost of photovoltaic installations it's about glass it's about steel and it's about copper and the higher the efficiency is the lower the amount of material needed uh, therefore I'm convinced that the highest efficient solar technologies will be the winners how do you assure 25-year field life? The second large thread of work that's been done in Sol Focus was to look at the reliability of the plant, of the, of the equipment that we're building. So that started during design, where we were able to borrow techniques and borrow materials from industries that, uh, that have shown longevity. For example, the adhesives we use are also used in the skyscraper industry where windows are now stuck to aluminium frames and have to last 25 years in very harsh environments. So we made choices on materials and techniques to maximise the reliability of the product. Secondly, we, we've then uh, instituted a very aggressive and long-lived um, accelerated test program. And thirdly, uh, we have a lot of test installations. For, for some time now, we've been able to verify the results of the highly accelerated test conditions against two years or almost three years worth of operation and correlate the results that we've shown uh, to the best current knowledge of modern science that the degradation rates on our modules are, are way within what's needed to last 25 years. Concentrix uh, was founded in 2005 uh, based on R&D work which already started in the 1990s at the Fraunhofer Institute. The most important thing is on the one hand to get the field experience but also to do a lot of accelerated testing and we did uh, additional to the testing which is necessary for the certification uh, accelerated testing which exceeds the requirements by far for example some of the certification tests we prolonged 10 times and uh, still the modules meet the requirements of the certification process in our case, uh, we have a history because we put them in the field, actually, okay? We know how our lens, how well it works in the field. We have 12 to 14 years of history on it. So we've been around for a long time, our company, and we have, uh, specifically for those reasons, put in the field uh, many, many versions of those, many different things to study exactly, uh, you know, the performance of those with time. And then after 10 years, you bring those back and you look at them and you analyze them and see how much you lost, what did you do, how much it degrades. And uh, fortunately, we had very good experience and that's why we decided to go you know, full blast on those things because we believe they will last 25 to uh, 35 years. What is certification in the CPV industry? The certifications are, uh, in some sense, an entrance ticket to the market. They are an indication that you have produced a product to a certain level of robustness, that you have a company with enough, um, uh, enough discipline to produce a, a well-manufactured product, and you've got a supply chain that can produce it. And you've been through the tests with, uh, with an independent company, and they've said, 
Yeah, after a certain set of rigorous conditions, the product still, uh, the product still performs well. Now, the reason I say it's an entrance ticket is that uh, there's, there's not a great correlation between that and a 25-year lifetime. There absolutely is the first verifiable quantitative step on the way to, produce, to proving that you have 25 years lifetime. And it's done by a third party organization. Uh, certifications uh, became important to this industry around 2005 when the initial deployment of the new uh, solar technology uh, was implemented. Uh, certification is a, a mandatory requirement for a lot of local and state uh, uh, entities, but also for uh, many global entities also. For CPV technology, IEC 62108 is the worldwide standard that's accepted for, for that technology. 62108 uh, focuses uh, on certification of the product's safety, the performance, and the reliability. Uh, this ensures that the product will meet all the safety requirements for uh, the, as broad of a jurisdiction as possible. Uh, the product will perform as intended over a period of time and that the markets are opened up to, so the product can be deployed uh, where you might have uh, uh, installations. CPV, concentrating photovoltaic technology, capturing more photoelectrons from the sun for maximum power delivery. I'm especially proud that it was possible to bring this technology from a laboratory prototype to a field proven utility scale technology. This is the right technology called the headroom because of the low cost uh, capital required to set up uh, you know factories in this one and everything else. Uh, this technology it will take off uh, very very big and it will be the dominant technology a very large scale solar electric generation. This is the first time in history uh, when there has been significant interest shown in the environmental catastrophe occurring on this planet. This is the first time in human history when some of that interest is being shown by capital markets. And it's also the first time really in history when technology exists with the manufacturing resources behind it to actually be able to make a difference. So these three things have come together only in the last 10 or 12 years. And while we have had a solar industry and while we have had a wind industry for many, many years, it's been waiting for this point in time to, to really take off exponentially. For more information, please contact the CPV Consortium.